Okay, so now we got sound. I knew I was muted. I was not... Uh, I was doing that on purpose. Talking to list. Pre-game. Oh, somebody's got the echo, radio echo, radio echo. It's me. I fixed it. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, let's see. I'm summoning people in right now. I mean, my, the, you talking will still get picked up in my mic from the speakers. Let's see. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh, so we're doing the live stream thing here. We didn't give much uh, lead in time there, so I'm going to try not to talk about anything too important in, for a little bit. While we uh, wait for some people to show up in the stream, uh, also in the scene, but I'm sure those guys are going to be PvP in here in just a minute. I'm trying to remember what the dev rules are in here, in terms of if I go in, if I slew in, what happens? I know one of the problems with me slewing in is uh, I don't actually get to see people. I wish I didn't need to. Oh, you know what? I think I may. No, I don't have a way to do that. Oh, now I'm going to be horribly screwed. What was I thinking? Ah, oh. Is this good string content here? Oh, I was looking at the game. 10 out of 10. Player, let's see. Al, look, Sander. There we go. Bam, fixed. <laughs> yeah, so I'll have to go in uh, just in uh, by myself, not by myself, but just as a normal player, which means I need to turn off. Oh, I didn't even like gear up. I don't have a deck ready. Oh, this is going to be miserable. Uh, we did have one quirk. Oh. Hold on. Oh, I should change the trial uh, background music for all the new music. Getting a lot of spam calls lately. You've never seen this many people on hand. Cool. Uh, I, I bribed them. What was what? Uh, I'm giving away a couple of uh, prizes for those who are here participating. That's cool. But not based on wins. Uh, instead, just picked randomly. Uh, I didn't want people to think they had no chance if they came out here. Uh, and Sarah is still around somewhere. Sarah is bugged and having some issues. We'll see how that ends up for him. But uh, I'm not sure what weird state he got himself into, but uh, he was not seeing the timer and something else there. So, uh, But anyways, I guess it's time to... Oh, wait, no, we're, we're going to stall for another couple minutes. We only got like 30 people in the stream or something. Oh, hold on, I'll get the raffle up. Wait, there's not a raffle. It's a Friday stream. We're not doing a raffle today. Fine, I'll do one raffle. One. You do 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 do. Oh, and I need to watch my chat in case I get whispers. Oh, and Seraphix. Yeah, he just had to log it. Uh, I think there was he was in some weird state because we published I published the server a couple times today, and he's been around a lot today. So uh, that's it's stuff that gets sent down from the server, and not sure what's up. You hide your in-game chat, right? Uh, yes. Oh, and I. I hide it with uh, us, of course. Yeah. 
Do 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 do. Oh, and I don't have any. I don't have the giveaway open. Hold on. Reset. Tomcat, subscribe. Thanks, Tomcat. There we go. Something cool. That's what you guys get. Thanks for and the our... hit. Oh, yep. And we are just uh, waiting around here. And as always, again, you'd be better off. Oh, we're up to seventy something people already. So uh, probably time for me to pretend like we're actually on a stream. Uh, and we will do the thing where every round of hype train gets an extra round of prizenings. Uh, the prizenings is the one where you say the phrase in game, and that phrase today is stalling, stalling, stalling while I go look. Howl at the moon. Howl at the moon. H O W L at the moon. That is the phrase today. And oh crap, I have not updated the uh, phrase uh in the thing so did you watch the eclipse i did that's uh yeah if uh, uh i'm not sure who else will join us here but did oh you, know, you you were going to watch the eclipse and or eclipse and you didn't get up but yeah i set an alarm and it went off at 2 30 and i was like what is this for like, <laughs> <laughs> uh no that's uh uh, I did get up at uh, 2.45, Maxine and I got up at 2.45 and went out and watched the eclipse. Maxine watched it for about two minutes and was like, yep, it's a red moon, Dad. And then she went back to bed. <laughs> I yeah, stayed out. Yeah, I stayed out trying to get pictures. It's preparation, guys. Get, are, why are, are people supposed to be in here or are they supposed to be going down to the thing? Um, Howl at the moon. know how this works. Oh, well, for those who don't know how this works, there's a timer that comes up, and it's just a uh, battle royale style. Uh, and again, I'll get into the actual stream content here in a bit. But uh, it's battle royale style in terms of when the timer is up. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the, which timer this is. But yeah, you guys should all be... Is it too late to charge in? I think they can charge in, right? Maybe not. Now it's going to be too late. Now there's one in progress. But it's basically a 10-minute cycle, I believe. And every, once that eight minute, nine minute timer runs out, there'll be a teleporter that opens down there. You run into the fog, into that white, into that fiery mist, uh, and you'll get teleported down to the, uh, the battlefield. Now the battlefield is a big arena thing. Uh, it's just like a big circular thing. And over time, the walls close in. It's actually not walls, it's actually like a deadly fog that does some pretty big damage. Today we're playing in here with some new rules, which are the scene is capped. So if I mouse over people, yeah, you'll see some people have 104. That's because they have a buff on them. Uh, but we're gear capped, skill capped, and level capped. If you have a buff from like a shrine or a blessing uh, or a potion or something, that'll still apply over that. But otherwise, people are capped. They don't get any of the bonuses from their gear. And this is, again, we're trying to give people a chance to, you know, come try out PvP and be feel competitive. And, you know, this is supposed to be a, a skill challenge here, and this really puts the focus on the skill. You know, a lot of people have concerns of, like, how do I compete with guys who've been, you know, playing and have uh, 12,000 hours played or whatever and 140 skills? This lets people get around that. So these guys who have the perfectly crafted gear and the perfect skill set and they've got everything... Well, now it's all going to come down to skill and that they're going to only have their their uh, whatever they take in their hundred max 100 points which is pretty easy to get a skill to 100 and uh oh yeah no potions no buff that's the one thing i'm worried about with this one because when i was getting ready i i thought about setting up a build and the build i was going to set up was going to be a uh what's the crossbow that fires the three bolts not the horrific crossbow the you know, the the triple crossbow from the Catalyst. Cruel crossbow. People in chat, our chat will tell me what it is. But anyways, that one plus uh, poison can be a pretty nasty combo. I've never been vile, yeah, the vile crossbow. Uh, but anyways, that one fires three shots, which can do three times the poison. Uh, but uh, unless I fix that, I forget if I fix that. Hmm. I should repair my gear before PvP. Good idea. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, repair my fabulous gear. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get killed, by the way. That's okay. Uh, yes, if you teleported here and you're crazy encumbered and need help, send me another whisper. Uh, 
And uh, Coswald absolutely will give you a, a bundle or two. And give me, we're going to start this in about uh, three or four minutes. Let me find the bundles I'm going to add. I'm, I'm still in prep mode. That buff caps out at a few hundred, so I had to go dump some weight anyways. <laughs> All right, we'll do that. Uh, Let's see, so maybe that's one of those things we'll do is uh, I can give away some streamer bundles here. Let me make sure this uh, works. Okay, I got some streamer bundles. And uh, hey, we're getting a crowd in here. <laughs> Let's see, hold on. Yeah, if you need a buff for uh, for weight, just let me know. Whisper me overloaded or something like that, and I can give you a quick buff. Uh, also, I will tell you again, going to start here in about two minutes for real, uh, because we're going to talk about some of the release 96 content as well. This is going to take a Hold long on. time to untangle this stuff. I'm just chucking into... Let's see if I can find Arthas. Uh, let's see. I need to find him because that's it's always tough. I forget what the syntax is for uh, multiple people there. Where you at, Arthas? Around here somewhere. The oh, there he is. Okay. Multiple people want. I only know how to do it by the selected. I not. Yeah, you can do it by name, but it, I forget whether you have to put a dot in between their names if they have two names. I forget oh, what it is. I by name. I just like physically select them and then select it where it's instead of their name. Yeah, come stand in front of me. I got you there. Oh, Chat, Chatuli. everybody in the scene. Oh yeah, there is. Is there a buff all? No. Oh, we keep saying we're gonna. We should add one. Yeah. All right, I got you to Chatul. Sean Silverfoot, there you are. Gotcha. Let's see My who else. Super close to the. Uh... All right, so that, I think that'll get them up to carry capacity of really high. Wolf, them, let me put a houseboat down. It's super close. Carry capacity five seventeen. What's my encumbrance right now? Yeah, I'm talking. You can kind of see a sliver. In... Uh, I think the other thing is I just need to when we're in a PvP scene. Like, there's no reason we should have encumbrance penalties. I should just make it so encumbrance doesn't apply in a PV, not in a PvP scene, but in the city and trials. Yeah, that'll probably be my better fix. Yeah, we can't let people infinitely mine. And... All right, we're getting close here. Uh, so I will go in and just uh, fly myself to the middle and find a high rock to stand on. I will request that people, well, you can do whatever. You'll probably find me and kill me. Uh, but I'm going to go up there because I have to talk about our release 96 stuff, which is what we're getting started on here. Uh, although the event starts in two minutes. Again, let's see if you got anybody whispering to me, seeing if people need uh, buffs. So, all right, but I think we're ready. Yeah, I can do it too if people need. Uh, so, greetings, guys. Uh, thanks for joining us on this Friday stream. You guys know I am a horrible streamer. I'm a mediocre talker, but I am a horrible streamer, and by that I mean I cannot multitask. Uh, so. Is Coswald around here? Do I see Coswald on the list somewhere? Is he on there? Okay, he's around here somewhere. I could always do the teleport to him thing. Oh, there's Coswald. Oh, I'm in combat mode. I'm not going to be able to trade with him. Even devs must follow that rule. Uh, I don't know how many that is, uh, Coswald, but you can have that 
give them away on your stream. Uh, this is one of the things that's new for this release is I finally did that streamer bundle thing. Uh, we will have some rules for who can get them, but basically if you're a, you know, a, a productive streamer and you're out there doing good stuff and showing off good stuff, uh, attracting an audience, I will gladly give you some stream bundles to promote. These are, anybody can open them. Uh, some of the items inside when they're opened, oh, that's right, they do not go to no trade right now. That needs to be fixed. They're supposed to be when you open it, they turn it into no trade, and I don't think they do yet, so open them fast. Uh, but anyways, but they contain one crown item that's a low dollar crown item and uh, probably a couple pieces of junk because that is our trademark is we put junk in everything. So get ready for your rusty spoons uh, and broken chairs or uh, wood scraps or whatever. And then there are, uh, there's a small chance for a big item, which goes big, like real big. All right, so here's what we do. So I'll go in and do this first one, and then once I die, because I'm gonna die, uh, I will go back out and do the uh, start talking release stuff. Bam. Run into the glowy stuff everybody's running into. So yeah, run into the glowy stuff that everybody's running into, uh, and then you can find whatever spot you want to here. I pick a spot. Hiding while you pick your teleporter. Otherwise, people can. Yes, dear. Hey, Dad. Uh, we have bad news. What? Panda Mama is moving a live little baby, squirmy thing. Okay, we'll have to figure out how to. Cl okay, well, hopefully they won't survive. <laughs> Preparation. We have uh, an angelfish laid some eggs in like the most crowded tank in the house. It's full of like a hundred little tiny fish. All right, so here I am in here. Uh, I'm going to just hide because we all know I will die if I don't. And yes, you're going to die. That's how it works. Everybody's going to die except one person. Yeah. I'm going to die first, though. Uh, it announces when people die, right? Yeah. I'm trying to, yeah, I was trying to remember. Um, Bobby put in the uh, not based on a certain elimination series of movies. Oh, coming in there. And then when somebody dies, you can hear a cannon go up. Ah, yeah, that's right. May the odds be ever in your favor. I'm just going to sit here in this rock. That's no good. Okay. Yeah, and this is also doubly bad because, like, anybody who wants to can stream snipe me. Hold on, let me get over to the uh, place. The safe place, finger quotes around safe place, the place where you will not die from the poison until the very end. I'm already dead. You're already dead? Yeah, I think Sarah Dragon got me. I gotta look at my shit. Okay, well, his bug was fixed. Somebody hit me. Yeah, I think it was just. Somebody got me with archery. Okay, somebody. somebody's coming up here. I will point out, I, I do not have a deck ready. I didn't even get, I'm wearing like leather armor and carrying a pole arm just because that's what I was doing for testing a bug. Well, I'm going to claim that kill. Z, I'm claiming I killed you. Okay, well that's good. Now we can actually do the stream. Oh, um. Uh... And let me get the thing. I think I have the uh, public chat off. Yeah. Oh, I've got all my combat stuff off, so I didn't see any of that. Guess I don't need traitors. I don't think they can. I don't think they can hear me on the stream. They can't hear you on the stream. I should be able to hear you on the stream. You're probably just a little quiet. Okay. Oh yeah, maybe she meant I'm just not talking loud enough. Yeah. Oh, you know what? When you die, it, it erases that buff. So all those people who got buffed before, you're going to be screwed again. 
here you can come up to me also. You can just do a play selected. Okay, so I'm going to actually go over, or do the stream stuff. I'm going to let you uh, talk, and I'll go down there next time and just kind of stand around. And uh, maybe I'll go in God mode so people can't kill me until the end or something. But, uh, so today we're here trying some stuff. There's uh, been a lot of changes PvP. That's why I'm in here, though. Uh, so that's we're showing off some stuff in here. Although when I die that quick, I really need a spectator mode for this. Uh, but uh, this makes good content for other people streaming, not for me because I suck at PvP. But let me get into the actual stuff we're doing today. Uh, so welcome to the release 96. I'm going to be a little disoriented today. Again, as we mentioned, uh, or I mentioned earlier, I stayed at, or I was up at the 2:45 for the lunar eclipse with my Munchkin because I thought that would be cool for her to see it, even though they totally overhyped it. Once in 600 year event. Well, once in 600 years still doesn't make it that cool, no matter no matter how infrequently it happens. Uh, but anyways, it was cool. It was neat to kind of see the moon and see like the blood red moon and the orange had kind of an orangish red tint to it and watching all that stuff. But the result is I'm tired along with having a release as well. So ended my release day with that. But today we are doing our release 96 uh, wrap up stuff. I normally have Elgarion with me. He had something come up and I told him to go deal with it. Uh, so today's just me and List here in the Obsidian Trials. And actually, you know what, uh, although this is probably a more balanced thing, uh, probably the uh, PvP Arena and Arteris would have been a better one to do than this. Because the PvP uh, Arena and Arteris has... Uh... I'm going to have to turn my camera down a little bit. People were making fun of me for this, that I have a camera that cuts off half my chin. But the PvP and Arteris, you actually get to, like, it's constant action rather than you get in and you see how long you can survive and you... But this one does have some strategies to it, which I did not follow any of, which is don't engage unless you really have to, although there are rewards for engaging in this. Uh, so, anyways. All right, I'm going to stop getting distracted by the PvP stuff going on, and I'm going to try to focus on the actual stream. Uh, so for release 96, this was an insanely short release. Uh, this is the one or two times a year we have a holiday that falls on release day. And so we bumped the release up to the previous Thursday instead of doing it on the last Thursday. Uh, again, the Pilgrims were very poor in their planning to have uh, Thanksgiving on the last Thursday of the month, which conflicts with us. So we had to move it up to be a week shorter than normal. And this is already going to be a four-week release if we didn't have that. So it's a three-week release, which really means we get a week of patches for the last build. We get an actual one week of actual work, and then we get a week of... Uh, trying not to break anything and fixing up some bugs. So, uh, crazy short release for us, but we still managed to get some things in. We finally, uh, Castle Atos is actually live now. That is the new hub space made by the guy that's on stream with me here. Let's see if I got it right that way. Yes. Uh, uh, that guy. Uh, but it's kind of a player hub space where we expect a lot of players to go there. It's actually in pretty close to the new user path. So, new users, hopefully. Uh, can wander their way over there and find stuff in there. There's going to be a lot of help. There's some things in there already. Uh, there's going to be more coming. There'll be a second buff, and the buff that's in there will be fixed uh, for the Monday patch. And uh, so the buff right now, there is a buff in there right now. People are enjoying the buff because it lets you know exactly how many people are in scene at any time because the buff gives you plus one health, plus one focus per person in scene. The idea was that it would be plus one, plus one for when you got the buff, but I forgot that we have, there's an issue with that style of applying a buff that we can't do that. So I'll have that fixed on Monday uh, so it'll actually stick. So basically you'll have a buff that gives, and I'll probably round it to like multiples of 10. So you'll get a plus 10, 10, plus 20, 20, 30, 30, whatever rather than it being exactly one. So uh, the idea is to, you know, encourage to uh, people to, you know, hang out in the scene. There's also the other buff that's on the other side of the Castle Atos is going to be a, we were talking about making a crafting buff, uh, but I, again, I don't want to make this a scene where you have no choice, but you have to come and, you know, do your crafting here. We don't want a crafting buff that is only when you're in the scene and, uh, would let you make better gear there because then you basically have to craft there. 
Uh, so instead what it's going to be is it's going to be a while you're in the scene it gives you a plus a big bonus to experience application so it'll be a good place to go and do some crafting if you're trying to learn crafting but you're not going to make the best gear there you're going to make the same you know quality gear that you would make at home or worse uh, so it, it'll also help for people who want to train if you want to do like some new player stuff you know new player training great you can do new player training there and they'll get extra application of the experience so you can teach them stuff faster uh we let's see what else is in there we got uh it's got a scene full of a bunch of stuff there's going to be a few more scenes coming that are going to be attached to that that are going to be probably some dungeon type stuff i uh, will probably move the uh a connection to ardors and possibly to this scene in there as well hold on it's almost time for me to go back in and die um just real quick, people want me to summon them into mm -hmm. here, and I don't know what's going to happen with them capping or their skills. I just don't recommend it. So, recommend just actually going to Novia and walking in. Uh, I've like been it. summoning people. It's been fine. Yeah, it works? All yeah. Right. Nope, it, it works fine. I know there's a scene cap that we hit, so. Okay. All right, ignore me. I'm going to start summoning everybody who asks. Oh, you mean max number of people in the scene? Uh, yeah. I forget what this one is at. Let me go check that, because, yeah, that's well, a good once point. Once the teleport quarter is used, you can't use it again. So there's going to be some people, SOL, stuck up there waiting to use the teleporter that doesn't work. Oh, yeah. It's the mechanics. Like, we can summon a thousand people in here. Only Let's see. Or however, it's yeah, it's capped at 32. We'll see. Uh, but that is, it's capped at 32 for the scene. So normally, if you were in the scene and we hit 32, it would just spin up another version of the scene and some people would yeah, start going to that which scene. Which is doing, doing here. people are, they want to be in the one with the stream or they want to be in the Yes, one they want to be in ours and that's kind of thing, so. Yeah. And like and, I'm saying, like, the, there's only 32 combatant slots for it to function. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so if we see any issues with that, that's, you know, just know that's not a normal thing. Normally, if we exceeded 32 players, it would just start spinning up another one, and some of the players would end up in that instance of it. Yeah. Rather than all being in this instance of it. It uh, seems to me like only a few people are actually fighting, and a whole lot of people are just chilling out in the lobby. That is totally fine. Yeah. Well, you want, that's good. Oh, good. Then the, the, the elevators won't get taken. I'm not going to get a shot off on them, am I? I'm not even trying here. Probably help if I went into combat mode. Okay, good. Now I can do my talking. Okay, this is good because I died down there, but I got the slew off. Be oh, is it going to... Ah, oh, move my camera back up here. <sighs> it's all right. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out a way I can get some good uh, display, you know, showing off some of the stuff going on. Next time, I'll just slew up to the top of a rock yeah, we always and talk uh, hide about myself. Like a follow cam for observers, but then mm -hmm. the obvious downside is people can just cheat and talk to their friend and tell you where they're at. Yeah, it all happens so, so fast down like steady, there. Like mounted static location cameras, like camera one, camera two, that'd be fine. Okay, but anyways, let me get back to the stream. This is, uh, I know this is a really disoriented stream. We're kind of disoriented today. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, so Castle Atos is in there, a unique blessing that'll stay with you. Uh, it is intentional that part of the blessing is three days, part of it is one day. The better part of the blessing, the uh, critical reduction part of it, which reduces the damage you take on a crit, is a shorter buff to try and entice you back more often. The buff that'll be across the way is going to be a temporary buff that'll last like a day but it'll go away as soon as you leave the scene so it's basically for only when you're in there uh, again that'll be coming on early next week uh, there's some special vendor items there's all sorts of stuff in there to check out uh, again we're meaning that to be a uh, oh a public cash chest uh, there's a big aquarium there's some unique fishing stuff in there as well you can fish out in the moat uh, just lots of stuff in there but uh, that scene is live now and actually on the overworld as of the last patch Another thing that came in with this release, our super short release, is something I've already heard four or five people talking about, uh, which is new music. We actually went and updated some music stacks. And again, you can also thank this guy right here, I think was the one who was first mentioning that. Uh, but uh, 
yeah, we've had the same music for a good four years. It's not bad music, but we'd heard a lot of players uh, concerned. Most of the music we have is actually player-made music that's actually really uh, well done. Yeah, they did a great job. It's just when you hear the same songs. Uh, yes, I was going to say, this is the, you have one CD stuck in your dashboard uh, for the last four years. No matter how good that CD is, <laughs> it's, true. it's going to get old after a while. So this is, we finally gave you guys some new CDs uh, that are out there. I know a lot of people probably haven't noticed. We probably should have made a bigger deal about it because I know a lot of people just mute their music because they, they're tired of the music. Why did they want to listen to music? So if you are one of those people, one of the many people out there, uh, who did that then uh, you should probably go and unmute your music and give another off. give it a try and uh let us know there'll probably be some more stuff coming online we'll probably there's some new wax cylinders i think as well for those people who like to pick their own music for their town uh or their own jukebox or whatever so enjoy that let's see uh, more music more music more music there's a lot of little quest things here that sanyo snuck in along with a few other people uh, let's see. Some work was done on Lord British's castle. Uh, N Mysterious Swamp, Necropolis Barons. Necropolis uh, Barons, uh, there's another a bunch of bug fixes and quest fixes for in there. And let's see if I can get to actual feature stuff here. Uh, let's see. There's an entirely new type of creature out there. It still needs a little work as we've already heard the feedback, which is the Ancient Undead. Uh, which is a completely new, it's not just a, you know, reskin version skeleton. It's actually a new category creature. It has some of its own special attacks. But I've also heard, I think we inserted them. Uh, I've been saying good things about them multiple times already this stream. So now I'll point out them and say, I think that guy put it in a scene that was a T3 scene. He put a tier 10 creature in a tier 3 scene. And I think uh, I saw that yesterday. Elwin was getting his uh, butt kicked in a uh, planes encounter. So... Probably should have gone with at least the lowest, like the tier 8 guy, if you're going to do that. But the other thing we've already heard is they don't do enough damage to be dangerous, and they have too much health, so they're annoying. So uh, we're going to be addressing those two things. I will be addressing those two things for a patch. You will not have to wait until uh, uh, nearly Christmas before that to get fixed. Let's see. More bug fixes. More bug fixes. Plenty of bug fixes. Uh, there's a lot of work done for some onk stuff where just onks were in not great places. Uh, again, some uh, a number of bug fixes for some movement stuff and some mount stuff. I have already seen. I swore it was fixed, but apparently the fairy belt. If you put the fairy belt on while you're on the horse, it's fine. But if you get onto a horse with a fairy belt, uh, it's doing something where it puts you in the middle of it. So then you're just a uh, floating head coming out of the horse's back. I thought we had all the unicorn cases fixed. Apparently, not quite. So I will be going to look at that. I think that has to be one that changed something outside of my changes. It's good that we've got uh, another programmer uh, on the team, so we can we have more people. I can point at other programmers now. Don't always have to blame uh, Wizard Smoke or or uh, I can just blame Devil Cult now. The Bandit Helm breaks it too. Oh, the uh, the hat. Yeah, that's probably Marcus's hat or something. Oh, the new program is just uh, Devil Cult. He's the new guy I like to blame. I can blame him for yesterday breaking the patch that I was trying to get a Russia patch out as quick as I could. Uh, and he made a change that basically, uh, totally not his fault, and it's just one of those wacky things. When you're on the team, you can test stuff. But you're testing stuff. You go into scenes and you test stuff and you're doing it in the editor. Some things don't show up until you get it into an actual build. And he had a change that when we got it into an actual build, it actually worked great in game. But if you were a new user and you had to click through the front end, uh, I accept uh, for the EULA, for the end user license stuff, it would not accept the click. And so a new user would have been stuck in the front end. So I can blame him for that. But that was one that, uh, again, uh, Sorry, reading the chat. Uh, but that was one that I uh, was hard to see until we actually did a build, so. I'll cut him a little slack on that. Uh, the Dread Artifact stuff has been updated. Uh, I wish I were here to tell you all the stuff about it, but just basically so you can pattern it out. I know there was a bug as of yesterday that if you got the 
uh, oh, you can place them as decorations, but if you converted them as of yesterday, you might have destroyed them. Uh, if you're one of those poor people who did it, I don't think I saw anybody who did it when I searched last night. But someone may have done it overnight, so we'll see. But that has been fixed as well in the latest update. Uh, let's see. Some player dungeon, player made dungeon work's gone in. Ravelox is finally getting to work on the, the player dungeon stuff, and I've been giving him all the tutorials on how all that stuff works, uh, and he's doing some good stuff and breaking some stuff. Uh, but the first version of the spider room is out there that he set up, uh, but he is now on the road going to see some players in real life. I know he's got uh, three or four different stops along the way that he's going to see people, but he's uh, going up to like New York City and some other places, say hi to people, stop by, say hi to Richard, go to a couple player events, so good for him. Let's see. Did we got, uh, here, I'll just send you a private message. Okay. Am I going to have to go die again now? Oh, it sounds like, uh, so we saw an ins or an issue earlier. This is uh, the one of the other things that we have, ah. Now I gotta go change that, or else people will be hammering that. Oh, they probably couldn't see that. Maybe they could. I'll go back and look. Uh, but uh, we have a have an issue here that we've only seen with one person, but apparently it happened with someone else. Which is they're not getting hit by the skill cap. So that's something I've got to look into as to what is going on uh, with the skill cap. But apparently there's. How many people do you know of that are not hit by the skill cap? He's a hundred. He's a hundred. I saw three. They're a hundred. Hundred. Uh, so some people are like a hundred and four or somewhere, you know, in that range, like a little over a hundred because they have a buff. That person's nice? walking slow, so they're clearly not. They're, no, there's people walking around with 1,500 hit points. Like it's, some people are just not yet. Let's see, he's 100. Oh, there's one, Greedy Gress. Uh, so Greedy Gress is one of the first people in here. Maybe it is a, if I summon, or if a GM summons them thing. Uh, that's a good uh, guess. But anyways, this is another thing that just went live. We're just doing some testing. This was honestly put in, uh, when I say this, I mean the gear cap and skill cap and level cap. Uh, those were all put in. Uh, the gear cap was put in this release. The level cap, see, he should have been hit by the level cap. So maybe that's what it is. And maybe it is the uh, special flag we have on people. I didn't even see whoever it was. There's another. With oh, I just all tabbed out of the game. Oh, Anyways, a reminder, we're just doing this for fun. You're not getting yes. prizes for winning. Yeah. Just yeah. Uh, but yeah, it does seem that there's a few people in here who have... Uh, uh, I will have to go look at the server sends down what the cap should be so maybe they're not getting that somehow uh, but it does look like it's a couple of people so if you see greedy grass out there make sure and kill him first because he's got uh, high stats <laughs> the people who are capped are taking zero damage so. <laughs> let's see uh, if you want to summon Oh, I see some uh, foul language there in the chat. That's fine. Uh, if you need a summon, just uh, whisper List Rostov, or you can whisper me, and I will get you a summon over here. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, wait till I'm back in the... Uh, well, I think they'll start in the lobby even if I'm active and summon them, but I don't know. Yeah, people should be like level 100 to level 104. There may be some other buff. I think there's a blessing that gives you like four levels, which is why some of these people... There's someone who's not up to the cap. Dr. Hernbrand. Obviously, the people at the end are going to be the uh, ones who are not getting the, the buff. So I would say, again, make sure and kill Greedy Grass. He's the only one I saw for sure that looked like he was uh, uh, not getting the, the negative buff applied to him. All right, read in the chat. Okay. Again, super disoriented stream today. Super sorry about that, but uh, let's see. Uh, there's been a ton of other bugs fixed in terms of like the lava pools that were added last release are awesome. I think people are really enjoying those, but they also were burning you to death. They're supposed to burn you to death, but they would be burning you to death while you were trying to place them. Uh, so that's been fixed. 
<laughs> the Holiday Menorah, that's another one that, uh, uh, that uh, has not worked in a couple years. That has been fixed. Uh, let's see. Uh, the new system that tunes PvE versus PvP damage has also been adjust not adjusted. Some more skills have been adjusted, but that lets us do things where we can tune stuff that is just for PvP versus PvE. So we don't have to go and nerf PvE stuff if there's something that feels ridiculously unbalanced in PvP. Uh, again, what works in PvE and versus PvP, it's two very different things for what you're looking for. So a couple of skills have been adjusted. I believe Skewer, uh, Aim Shot, Blinding Shot, uh, I think those all have like minus 10 or 20% damage only in PvP. Uh, there's probably a couple more that will be going in there, but that's part of what this release is for, is to figure out some of these balance issues. Uh, and I just got the Laney asking me if we are okay to pass out some streamer bundles. I think we're okay. Uh, I know some rules were set up a long time ago, and I honestly forget what they were. Don't give any to Coswell. I just gave him about 20. <laughs> he asked for some. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, get some some uh, testing going. Yes, you are clear to add or to give them away to people if you want to, Laney. Hopefully you're watching the stream. Uh, let's see, we had some improved visuals go in for a bunch of spells, some bugs with the uh, various things uh, uh, should be fixed, like the globe of light was one of the ones, if you get on a horse you can get off a horse, the ball of light would sink into your stomach, that's been fixed. Uh, the flagging PvP flagging bonus was changed from 10% to 25% because a few exploits were fixed that were allowing people to get the bonus without adding extra risk. Let's see, uh, there's uh, the wax cylinder. Some of the new wax cylinders that were added are dropping as rare loot in too many scenes for me to name here. Looks like about 30 scenes, but Dolus, Dolus approaches, Avaris curse, the Dragon Clan, Tartarus into the Epitaph, uh, the Bear Clan, that's like a fourth of them or something. So you can go look at the list for those. Scarecrow Boss has some new loot, I believe. Uh, one of the big things we have in terms for this release that is a long requested nay, long demanded uh, improvement, quality of life improvement, is the non-destructive evictions. So what this means is if you have a house and you don't pay your taxes, uh, that, or if you get evicted by the governor, or if you get evicted for not logging in or not touching something on your lot uh, for, for way too long, before, it would basically dismantle your entire house and send everything to your bank as a million chunks. If you were a player who had a house that was like perfectly decorated, as many of you guys do, uh, that would be, that is a game ending, like, that's an insane amount of work. Like, I would not blame you guys for quitting for that stuff. And that's one, basically what happens. A few players said, I, I don't have the strength to come back and decorate my house again. Uh, and I managed to bump this way up the list, but we now have non-destructive uh, evictions. That means if you get evicted for whatever reason, your gear or your house and decos all in place will go to the magic movers instead of to your bank. Uh, so anyway, so that should save some of those people if they take a you know a break from the game and they come back after a few months. Just know that your gear will you know your house will not get dismantled. Don't take a break for a few months, but Totally understand if you need to, uh, and but now it'll go to the magic movers. And when you come back, you can just find whatever lot you want, and boom, your house is back up there, all your decorations in place. So, let's see. Uh, the player-made dungeon interface for selecting dungeon pieces. I thought I put a line through that. It does not show as lined out here. That needs to have a line through it. That was one that we were hoping to get in and did not get in there. Hopefully we can get something in for the next release. I think somebody, this list, we usually make our, this big list off of uh, our change list. And and I think that one got uh, added in on purpose. I actually did not submit that, so. Uh, let's see. A uh, bunch of new Lua stuff went in. Documents for Lua were actually updated. But uh, Lua stuff keeps getting better and better and the stuff you can do with it. If you haven't touched, if you haven't played around with it in a while or tried any of the add-ons, you should expect those to actually become useful. Uh, 
like without causing lag. They've always been useful. All the Lewis stuff was always super useful and people were doing some amazing things, but in the old system they were causing lag. We actually moved all the Lewis stuff to the new UI system. Uh, so it's much, much, much less bag or laggy. NBNN News, how do you hand, how do you get the new streamer bundles? Uh, you can get them from Laney. Uh, I might be able to sneak you a few under the table. Uh, but I can definitely get, I'm sure you're, you qualify for uh, streamer bundles. You and Jack, you'll have to figure out how you give them away since you're both streaming and you're crazy weird. Both streaming at the same time, but on the same stream on your own channels away. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Serenia Melorian. What happens if your properties, if, uh, to properties, if your property manager is already full? Right now, we're just letting them go in no matter what. You just won't be able to add more to it. If, if you take one out, then you won't be able to get it back. So right now, if your property manager is full, it still does not go to your bank. It still goes into the property manager. Uh, we're looking at some ways to improve that or some possible rules because obviously that is uh, could be exploited in a few ways. But uh, we thought, again, the, the thing I'm trying to push at least is if we have a choice between hold on i have to go die again we have the choice between letting a handful of people exploit something and you know making the game better for the vast majority that do not exploit something we try to do the thing that's better for players so uh yeah because there's some people like you know they may have five houses or whatever and we don't want Suddenly, like they go absent for a while due to health issues. I'm sure that's the only reason people would leave is health issues. But, uh, you know, work, whatever stuff is going on. They come back, it would be horrible if like, oh, your first two houses went in and your other three went to the bank and got dismantled. Oh, and the one of the ones got dismantled was your actual house that you care about. That was a, you know, a city lot, whatever, with a thousand decos. All right, let's see. Do, do, do. Uh, there's some work done to the compass markers to make uh, to help show priority for things. Oh, hold on, I have to spend 30 seconds dying. You think I can live? I'll go into combat mode this time. That'll be an improvement over my last round down here. Oh, look, look, this is good. I've got aim shot active and no bow. Let's see, if I got a bow at all. Ooh, I'll get up my... Yeah, you can tell I'm prepared. Should I go with the shoddy short bow or the simple bow? What do you guys think? It's a tough call. I'm going to go with a simple bow. There we go. I think I can get a kill with this thing, right? Oh, I'm totally going to take down Sarah. Ha! You to do never go full simple. I am full simple. Oh, no, never mind. I'm already dead. All right, let me see. Uh, get back to my list over here. That's good. Now I can get back to reading this stuff. Uh, for those who are wondering what the combat actually looks like, if you actually have gear uh, that you know gear bonuses are wiped out on most everything, but I'm just wearing like the starting scene, the first scene starting gear in a cloak that I was testing. So this is just gear I was testing out. Uh, for skills, so Ooh. a buff. I could use that. Hold on. There we go. Uh, but if, in case you're wondering what that actually looks like, is players do actually run around. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be a target as a dev uh, person they want to kill, and also I'm an easy target. But people oh, yeah. do run around. Don't start the shed in there. Uh, and after a few minutes, uh, the walls start closing in, the gas starts coming in and pushing in towards the middle and basically forces everybody together. Because some people will go with the strategy of, I'm just going to hide out here in the edges uh, and never go fight, which is, a, you know, that's one thing you can do. That's definitely a strategy. Uh, oh, but yeah, stealth is great in here. Uh, but yeah, so having the fog come in is basically to push it because it's got to end. It's got 10 minutes in, so... It will end in 10 minutes or less. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, guild member names now sort properly in the guild window. These are just some small bug things that were fixed. Many more functions added to Lua. You can go check out the API document. Uh, let's see. And the, I will point out the Lua stuff was actually in the initial patch notes, but it did not get in until this first patch went live uh, earlier today. A uh, number of new pod updates uh, and uh, just tons and tons of little bugs. I'm not going to read out all the bug fixes and small improvements. Can we continue to try to improve quality of life for people? Uh, there'll be some more of that coming up as well. So I think the next round of stuff we're going to get in, I think there's two big ones that I have on my list that I really, really want to push to the top of the queue, which are the making your list, your uh, deck list, making that uh, so you can reorganize stuff in it, so you can sort that stuff so you can change it around. Right now it is locked in place. And then the other one is the dungeon UI interface, making that a choose from a list. Oh, that's uh, great. So or, both of those. Yeah, yeah or, the deck having to like do the delete and shuffle it up. Yeah, moving it. That's fantastic. Yeah, or, or the, the other one just for the dungeon list is maybe just making it so if you select, if you actually just select a piece from your inventory, that's the piece that becomes the piece down there that may be the easiest one because you guys already have your stuff set up in your inventory. You can just keep that out, keep it sorted however you want to, have it all visible at once, and just that's make that if you select a dungeon piece, it goes down there. That's what I was going to attempt to sneak in, uh, but uh, uh, did not quite uh, get it there in time, so... Soon, though, that will be uh, hopefully it'll be an early Christmas present for you. Reminder the next release is going to be before Christmas, not after Christmas or on Christmas. I'm not even sure where Christmas falls. Let's see, Christmas falls on a, December. on a Saturday, so it will not be the Thursday before the Saturday, it will not be Christmas Eve Eve. Uh, it will be a week before Christmas Eve Eve on the 16th, so uh, that is less than uh, four weeks from now. So. That is when the next release is going to be going out, and we will definitely have some cool stuff in there for you. Uh, Bridge Troll is asking, I don't understand why my pet wasn't resible. Is that a feature of this place? I don't think that's a feature. I don't think that's any type of balance issue thing we changed. It should work when you're yeah. back in the lobby. We're breaking so many things, though, with too many people in here. And... Uh, yeah, but not too many people aren't going in, so it's it's not that bad. I didn't even see who the, right now it looks like Sarah Dragon. Oh, shocking, Sarah Dragon. I think they're still going. I see people still dying. Yeah, but Sarah's the only one with uh, no deaths so far. Oh, oh, right, I forgot about this. There's a score. Yeah, so oh, he's, man. yeah. Nope, had zero. Sarah Dragon's the only one with zero deaths who's been in here the whole time. Uh, I'm wondering if the kills part is accurate, though. Hmm. Well, the problem with like it doesn't track poison deaths, it doesn't track fall damage deaths, right. it, doesn't, it, it doesn't track dot deaths even. So there's a lot of stuff that like you know, twenty people may have died to your poison or dots, but it doesn't pick it up in the stats. Uh, and again, the only thing that matters is the last person alive. You're not getting more points yes. or anything. So that's just kind of for fun. Let's see. Do, do, do. And of course, it's last hit. I know some people are like, I wanted to track most damage. And like, if you really think about that, that's impossible. You know, every MMO does it last hit. It's the only way to logically do it. Because if somebody's alive for an hour, you're going to calculate who did the most damage over 10 different fights, you know? Uh, there's, I'm going to go ahead since I'm just going to get slaughtered here in a minute. I kind of ran down the quick, the big stuff. Again, I did not do, uh, I think Rick, when he does the, goes down the list, he reads everything and talks about all the bugs. I'm not going to do that because uh, there's a lot of them. You guys can go read it. It's several pages of bugs. Uh, I will instead jump into some Ask a Dev stuff while I wait, which is I just saw Zandura Wildis uh, say, will you consider banning all RMTs? Winning with the credit card is bad look for the game and is unfair. Uh, so this is like a big topic. If there were some, yeah, if there was some magic button where I could say all RMT is banned, uh, I would have hit that button two years ago. The problem is, no matter how hard you try, if you have a game with things that are tradable, 
there's going to be RMT in it. And so really all I'm, it becomes is a massive battle to try and fight the RMT people you can catch. Uh, and then you're basically rewarding the people who are RMT and who are not. So I, again, our game, the stuff that people buy and sell is very little to do with power. Uh, we focus completely on cosmetics. I think somebody answered them on that. But we, if you look at our store and what people are selling and you know buying and selling, it's almost all cosmetic stuff. It's you know even I know it feels like power to have a house, but really that's just cosmetics. That doesn't give you any power. The thing I I always uh, list as what I define as pay to win or selling power is if you uh, you and another guy who you know you spent zero dollars and the other guy spent a thousand dollars, you get in game together and fight. Uh, did his thousand dollars give him a better chance of beating you? Uh, and in for at least the stuff we sell, the answer is no. Uh, there's some, there may be some like super duper minor stuff, but if he spent you know a thousand hours playing and you spent a thousand hours playing and he spent a thousand dollars extra, the benefits you get from spending money on the game are almost completely zero. Of course, there's always like you know stuff that is kind of beyond our control. But even like our experience bonus stuff is either incredibly minor or it's just all you're doing is like we sell a potion that allows you gives you a bonus to experience but it gives you a bonus to spending experience so that is really just experience you already earned by adventuring and this just lets you apply it faster so you have to attack a training dummy less or cast your summon pet fewer times so uh we don't but yeah, just to be clear, if we could, if there were a way I thought we could fairly ban RMT everywhere, we would do it. But I don't know of any game that has any type of trading at all that has managed to do that. Exactly, yeah. Every other MMO out there is banning tens of thousands of people all the time. I think yeah. the thing people are mostly talking about is buying gear with gold. But yeah. if they're talking about this case, for the, you know, that's why we're capping gear and skills. Yeah. And that is another thing. Even if you did find a way that you can ban stuff, then you get into like, okay, well... Uh, players can sell their accounts. They can sell, you know, uh, change your password, give me your login for $20. I'll go get you three levels or something like that. Oh, what am I doing? I'm dying. I'm going to get in with my simple bow. Bam. Yeah, it's not that we disagree with those people, but it's not like we're unique to having, you know, that's every single MMO out there. So yelling about it. Okay. We definitely don't let you advertise in game. Or yeah. Forum. Yeah, that is, we, we do not, we, we have not. I think we probably early in the project we did have some uh, people who believed in embracing uh, RMT stuff. We have definitely, I have definitely not embraced RMT. If I, it's no secret, I've have upset the RMTers many, many times. Uh, with basically, I've pushed things out of the forum. We have a change coming up that will probably happen. That'll change what stuff is allowed in terms of lot squatting. Uh, there's some people who've been basically squatting on lots, trying to sell them for real money, which to me is, in my definition, is that's griefing. You're blocking shared content and only offering to remove it if someone actually pays you for it. So that's something that's probably going to go away too. Again, I, I've made it no secret that uh, uh, I am not uh, RMT friendly. I try to be or RMT taller. I saw that. I saw that guy. Uh, I am GM Ghost, by the way, so I can survive a little longer. Third-party macro programs have always been illegal, so if you're using yeah. that third-party program to mouse-click on a lot to get it, you know, that is that is actionable. Uh, and I have investigated every person who has been reported for botting uh, in for months, like personally gone and investigated, looked at them. Not actually looked at them in game, but looked at what they're doing, look at their metrics. I have banned quite a few. We do also have some stuff, some, I have several charts that are basically for, uh, that's my cheat sheet. That's people who are, look like they're doing something suspicious or have botting behavior. And I'll go and investigate those guys. And we have banned do or, uh, uh, dozens of those people as well. Oh, Let's yeah, you, see. You know, we're definitely on top of people cheating in the game and then stuff that we can detect in third party programs. Like but what people do outside of our platform, yep. we're not spending resources on police. 
All right, I can but jump into. It's great that you're capping uh, gear benefits. I mean, I think that definitely is a, helps with leveling it, making it a true even playing field. I think that's a great change. I'm gonna slew around here a little bit, see if I can do some sky cam stuff. And again, this is kind of where we're. I think we're in the phase. I'm not sure how many people have died here, uh, but I think we're in the phase where uh, uh, people are kind of hiding and trying to not seek out conflict. Oh yeah, I was there... doing that, but then I ran out and I got jumped while I was talking. I don't know who got me. They they kicked my butt. Who was that? Looks like we have 10 people remaining. So there's 10 people out there. Oh, I see some action going on over there. Uh, but again, you can see this time I cheated to stay down there. There goes Vespers. Uh, but I cheated to stay in the game. I'm doing my GM ghost thing here. So I can actually see what happens after the first 30 seconds since I die in the first 30 seconds. But the that big gas wall, that green gas wall thing, will slowly start moving in and tightening down the battlefield. Uh, and it's not instant death if you touch it, but it will kill you pretty darn quick if you do not uh, move out of it. Uh, but I don't think it's instant death. So I'll let these guys get pushed in. Looks like nine remain. Again, those two guys out there doing some fighting. Uh, one piece of feedback I had, it looks like Spinock was giving the feedback that warding is still pretty is powerful even at 100 just because now players without casters without their attunement oh there's blast it all and this is the other reason why i'm not seeing a lot of people out here on the battlefield even though there are now eight eight remaining is there's a lot of people who are stealthing around uh but spinock was given the feedback that warding is is uh pretty powerful now that is a uh, basically an anti-magic skill it gives you magic resist which, yeah, I can totally see that as being uh, pretty powerful if, against casters here because they've lost a big chunk of their attunement. You know, the most attunement they might have is maybe a little over 100 just from some external buffs. Yeah, we'll probably have to tweak uh, balance. See who Vesper's there. wiping out there. Oh, there's Vesper's. That's why he's complaining about... Well, he should be... Uh, maybe he's complaining because Vesper's is... Uh, he, oh, now, yeah, get some action going there. Looks like we are at, nope, not quite eight, just knocked down. I thought he was killed. So now we got four people down here, but again, they will be pushed towards the middle. And I guess there's actually seven people here uh, because I'm down here too. Now there's six people here. Looks like, uh, nope, Spinock didn't quite die. You know, it was just knocked down. And one of the things I'm trying to get to is the point where you have, again, part of the reason for this balancing pass is getting to the point where you have choices for your builds that you can be competitive with. Right now, uh, I think there's kind of two things that are semi-competitive, which is either range. Oh, you can see the uh, gas coming in. Uh, either ranged is competitive. There's some casting stuff that's competitive. Pets are competitive. Uh, for melee stuff, I think the only way to really be competitive with melee is if you are using a stealth build as well. So. Okay. These guys may be proving me wrong, but again, they're stealthing around. Oh, Vespers, get together there, buddy. I uh, melee, melee look like they're doing pretty well. Yeah, and I guess one thing that is true is for the melee guys is while they may have a bit of a challenge early on in this scene where everybody's really spread out, the tighter things get, the better, better their odds are going to be. Oh, yeah, I should be doing this every time. I'm going to win. Nobody's going to beat me. Uh, but yeah, the melee guys will, will have a better chance as things tighten in on them and they, you know, there's fewer places to run. I guess I should turn off my GM ghost. Yeah. Take that, Revenant. Take that. Are you, are you free cameraing? Oh, no, that's you. <laughs> no, I was down there. I was uh, GM stealth down on the battlefield watching. Uh, and I unstealthed and, of course, died in three seconds. You lasted longer than I did. I mean, yeah, <laughs> stealth By is cheating. Pretty, it's key here. So, I, like, late at night when there's ten people in here and everybody was, was like, when it first came out, um, people were just doing AOE damage probes all over, kind of like hunt for submarines, pretty mm -hmm. pumped up charges, just to find all the, the sneaky stealth people, which works. You know, drop in fire rings and... Uh, meteor showers and so 
Doesn't yeah. hurt if you want to stand in one spot and are scared of, of assassins and just draft some AOE at your feet. Uh, yeah, and in hindsight, this one is uh, this scene just in terms of streaming. Hey, Revenant, somebody other than Sarah won. That's stunning. Uh, but this scene is probably not a great scene just because of what we just saw in terms of streaming content, uh, for me at least, as some oh, of the yeah, guys. Oh, yeah, we died and we're in the lobby talking. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Uh, Coswald would probably be a better one to stream, although I expect he probably gets wiped out in here too. Some of those guys are really serious about their PvP. Yeah, that's surprising to see uh, Revenant win. That's a name I, I know, but didn't expect him to be in the uh, winner circle. Uh, but the other scene that is for this release has the same debuff stuff on them is the Arteris Arena. For those who don't know, that is actually a team versus team arena where you get assigned to a team when you come in. And you can also have spectators around the upper part. So it's a big arena thing. There's some hallways where you can run around underneath it, but mostly it's a big open arena thing. Uh, the hallways, again, favor uh, PvPers who are not ranged, and I think it gives the melee guys more of a chance. This, because it's such a big open scene, is a little challenging for, I think, for the, the uh, melee PvP guys. But uh, I'm not even sure what Revenant's build is. Of course, the real PvPers, the, the best PvPers, are people who do not have a single strategy, where I am an archer, and that's what I do. It's the people who can change up change up their strategy based on who they're fighting or switch to magic and move around, you know, not stick with the one single strategy because I do believe if you have one single strategy, uh, there's always going to be people who will be, are beat you. Let's All right. See. Let's see what he's got on. It looks like. Uh... I'm going to do one more stream in here and then I'm going to start doing some prize drawings because at some point here I got to end the stream. Uh, and uh, getting up at 2:45 is uh, doing a number on me. But does Trident still apply triple poison? I think it might. If you see some people out there, I would say yes, it probably does apply triple poison. I thought the vile crossbow and the triple, but maybe it's just doing uh, doing one. But that's a bold choice over there. Somebody with a flaming sword. That's pretty much a come kill me. Oh, yeah, look at me. Sign. Maybe, maybe they're good, and that's like a <laughs> flight trap. I kind of doubt that. It's Can possible. Let's see. GM ghost. I'll do the GM ghost thing so we can get to the middle. As long as you don't win, you sacrifice I, yourself to the I will. Person. When we get down to like five people again, I will I will uncloak. Or jump in Oh, I see some people dying around me close enough so I can see the the combat messages come across. I only got one kill, and it was I jumped over a poison pit, and I blinked to the other side, and luckily my was chasing me followed. I don't get credit for it, but... Yeah, and of course, it's tough to figure out where I should be standing camera-wise to capture action, because everybody else is going to be hanging out. No one wants to come to the middle. That's like, come kill me spot. Uh, but, uh, anyways, hopefully some people are going to give this a, a chance here with many of the balances that have gone in. If you feel like you are clueless at PvP, uh, come here. This may be a decent place. The Artist Arena might actually be a better place for you, though. Uh, if we can get some groups organized down to go to the artist arena, just because you'll have more action here if you are a uh, subpar PvPer, just because you're new. Uh, I have no excuse. I am not new. I'm just horrible at PvP, but also because I'm trying to talk. That's the real reason. Uh, yeah, but anyways. Oh, I'm gonna, who is that? Somebody just destroyed me. The artist arena is probably a much better place for PvP action because, it, one, it's team-based, which... You know, you can team up with some of these people that are you're watching out here. Doctor something. Oh, and Vesper oh. says Revenant is one of the top five PvPers in the game. I, I did not actually know that. I, I, it's a name I've heard a bunch. I didn't realize he was he was that good. Revenant and you don't a Jedi. Have to go to, you know, those are we're listing the cat scenes to employ this 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 cat mechanic. But yeah, you know, people will be helpful and glad to teach you and go all over the world and spar in basements or bring their all. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but also the Ardor scene is another one that's probably better for this for learning PvP. Because in the uh, Ardor scene, you get to respawn a lot more and you will you can die a bunch of times rather than just dying once. Another thing I'll probably do is for these scenes where I've set gear caps is uh, I'll try and get in a fix for it to... Let me see if I can find my fix. I don't know what screen that's going to come up on. So I'm not going to do it. 
Uh, but I will set it so if the scene has a gear cap, then gear does not take damage. Uh, that is one of those things I'm sure a lot of people are out there annoyed that they have all their builds set up. But they know doing PvP, they're going to get their gear damaged, even though they're not getting any serious benefits from it. Oh. Looks like we got some action down there. Oh, we still have 10 people in here. Do, 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 do. Uh, but let me get to, let me look, see if there's any questions in chat here. I'm going to do a few Ask a Dev things, and then I will uh, jump in and start doing some prizes. I can actually start doing the prize drawings now. Oh, you know what? I need you to stall for me. I just realized I've not changed the phrase on the... The, uh, the new phrase the, will be Howl at the Moon. Yes, the new phrase is Howl at the Moon. So stall for me here. You're not stalling very so well. We're we're gonna you know we'll look at that now that we're capping down gear and capping down skills to make this even. You know, there obviously there needs to be some balance work we'll still do. So don't worry, we'll we'll look at it and, and make it as fair and fun as possible. <clears throat> but this was just I don't uh, I didn't know we were doing the the trials until I I I checked the uh, work chat today, so it was kind of fun to run around seeing a bunch of people. Maybe we'll do an open world uh, zone with no cap sometime for stream. That's always fun too. The old blood based streams are just a mob of uncapped people, also. It sounds like some people are, are, are cautioning against bringing your pets out. So we'll, we'll look at that. So I would add that if you're in there. But let me save that to zone. And we got to open Jira for it too. It sounds like somebody thought we weren't responding to that. Uh, let's see. I will go ahead while I'm reading this out. I got the howl at the moon in there. That is the phrase. Make sure and say the phrase. Uh, for those who are worried they might not get prizes even though they came and participated, I'm going to pull up the people who, uh, list of people who competed in the last hour for the, uh, picking the winners for the People who are in the Obsidian Trials is a lot of people doing it right now. I don't know if they're just being silly and they didn't already do it. Let's see. Oh, but the prizes that were given away for this time around, courtesy of Laney's choosing, are Fall Wreath, 2019 Fall Wreath. The Large Ornate Telescope. Oh, that's for the moon last night. We actually pulled out our telescope for the moon stuff last night. Uh, Fletcher Tapestry Formal Suit. The Autumn Fairy Crown. And a Fancy Indoor Toilet, version 2.0. Ooh. I'm not sure what the difference between 2.0 is and 1.0 is. Of the day? Built in? Uh, maybe. Let me get that checked in so that we have a prize in, then I can start kicking off some prize innings. All right, that's in. So now let me kick off a few prize innings, make sure things are working here. Do, 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 do. And we didn't do a, 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 a whatchamacallit, a hype train. Now we did. I changed the hype train. It was coming. It was starting way too early before. Basically, it would be if three people gave bits or subscribed, uh, it would immediately start. Which was having it start at the very start of the train. Right now, you have to do it five times. Five people have five different people have to do it. Uh, but we do not need a hype train. I will run the prize in now. If one happens before I end up ending the stream, I'll just run a few more. The toilet. One is the floral decoration, and two is the geometric. Oh, you know what? I just screwed things up. Oh, wait. I can fix this. There we go. I fixed it. <laughs> oh, is that what is Today's International Toilet Day. Is that why? I'm oh, doing? okay. That's good. Sorry to those people who are in the stream. I may have screwed that up, but uh, Revenant's the, uh, the winner. Oh, so someone's saying the pet issue is not related to the location. I, I'm not sure which is true and which is not. I'm just repeating what people said. Let's see. 
Oh, I could have. It would have. definitely be harder to resurrect your pet if it died out in the Sydney Trials. Yeah, you guys were talking to me on the chat there, and I wasn't seeing. But yeah, I, I nearly killed, uh, got Revenant killed. Because I'm a cheater. Uh, let's see. Let me go check to see if that is working for the prizing. I'm going to guess it is. Yep, there's one of them popping up. Got to wait for the next one. Oh, we got some uh, people in here. All right, I'm going to start drawing some of those things. Uh, so I, I told people I would also do some prizes for this stuff uh, for people who came to do this. So I think for this one, I'm going to give away a, a uh, the obsidian, one of the obsidian towers village, and then I'll give away the obsidian keep city, I think is probably a couple of good things here. I think we did get there. Uh, we did also hit uh, the number I'd set for people to get for me to turn on double experience early. So right after the stream, I will go and turn on double experience points for you guys for the rest of the weekend, at least. Uh, but we'll probably leave the double experience points up through the holidays. So uh, you guys can do that. And again, we always try to do tons of stuff for Turkey Day. Uh, but uh, let me see. There's right, a, yeah, if you want to go train, recommend um, a lots of training dummies in Castle Axos. <clears throat> yeah. I try to do, I know people usually go hang out where there's like a couple in, a, in their town or their, but I did some like a raid for like uh, cone attacks and AOE attacks and uh, there's also a chest right there next in the training area in Castle Axos if people want to donate gear for newbies. It's just kind of the honor system. So. Want to put in some, some new gear that's a good place to do it or if you want to gear upgrade and you're new to the game and want to check out what's in there take a look just don't take it all be nice uh gwendolyn's asking are you planning a deed upgrade sale for black friday or christmas if i say yes then you won't spend your money now uh, uh we will be doing lots of sales i will not say for sure whether that's going to happen or not but it's Black Friday. Uh, we, we have a pretty long history of doing some big Black Friday stuff, so. Oh, you were talking about that earlier. Yeah, I'm trying to decide. Let's see. I'm trying to see what's going on in chat there. Yeah, I don't think the playing the music on the thing, on the ABC files, for those who don't know, we have a system that plays ABC music. Uh, it's like a text format file, so you can play with instruments. I've never seen that screw up a stream as far as I'm aware. Oh, and thank you very much for the uh, sub there, Seth Ava. Uh, also, uh, oh yeah, I said I'd do a, a raffle thing. So if you guys want to do a raffle, I'll give one prize away for raffling. <laughs> uh, defected Zephyr. Uh, we do a pretty good. Oh, I didn't do my GM ghost. Don't kill me, dude. Uh, <laughs> he's not gonna stop because he said. <laughs> when, is, uh, when is ever in the history of games? Don't kill me, dude. Stop them from <laughs> Wait, don't. Yeah. Uh, defected Zephyr is on a satellite connection. So, you want to talk about lag? Uh, somebody said they had a yeah the six hundred. Yeah, that that was defected like, Zephyr. Remember when that would be an amazing thing? <laughs> An infinite loop. Oh, that's a cool idea. Yeah, if you could make like a, a what do you call it? Um, the scrolls, the wax cylinder. You could do like a cylinder playlist and put on a loop or something. That's, that's an interesting idea. Let me see if we got our second. I haven't seen the second one come up yet. I'm going to do another prizing. Got the first one there. Oh, got some good names on there that I know. Uh, let's see. Uh, for those who don't know, I've also started doing more streams during the week. The we for a long time, for years practically, we did a stream every Friday. 
And honestly, the Friday streams are really just, oh, it, was, it felt like a drag. And at the end of the work week, like I know you guys liked it probably because it's like you could, you know, chill out and have a beer while you watch uh, stupid devs talk about stuff. Uh, but for us, it was it was exhausting and like everybody on the team was not looking forward to them. But that doesn't mean I don't still enjoy doing some streams for people. So I've actually been doing, if you, if you didn't know, I'm actually doing streams several times a week now. Uh, and jumping in and actually trying to do some more focused content. And that also lets me do uh, plan ahead a little bit and get some content lined up to, for what I'm going to talk about. I'm trying to do, my goal right now is to do one stream a week where all I do is get on and do ask a dev questions, give answers for that, which I did earlier this week. And I think then, people enjoy that. Yeah. yeah, and then do one stream where it's just I get on and talk about content stuff and pick a topic on stuff. So, yeah, and it's just trying to find the balance of, you know, still got to get work done and how much time does streaming eat out, but you, know, you still enjoy streaming. People enjoy watching and getting updates. Why would you kill it? Why would you not kill it? I'd go straight for the dev if I wasn't yeah. one. My chat is hidden, but I just screamed, why would you kill a dev to the zone? I, I saw it. I was reading it out loud. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, so I said I'd do a raffle thing earlier, so I'll do a raffle. I'll tell you what. We'll do a raffle. We'll do a giveaway for a village obsidian to one person here. We'll give the town obsidian to one person in the raffle, and then I'll do the castle of the keep thing in here. Keep giveaway in here. So uh, hold on. I got to pull up a list of people who have been in here. Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and it looks like uh, we were up in the 30 range, so now we've, we're down to, it uh, looks like about 20 something. Oh, people in the zone. Yeah, it only reports me as having one death, but I've died like 10 times. So. Uh, yeah, and I wasn't sure on that. That's, again, we, this, is, this content has not been used in a while, and just we thought it'd be good to revive it and bring it back for doing some PvP balance stuff as we look forward to actual PvP. Because, you know, the real PvPers out there, I know this is more. You know, it's a trial. It's it's to where you can go to learn, or where you can go to uh, have a you know a fair skill fight, a focused skill fight. Hold on, my dog is over here whining. Yeah, it's just like a it's like a fun battleground yeah. activity, and you get some little tokens you can turn in for your well, uh, We've got a PvP uh, kind of little scrum that has been giving me bug reports on stuff, and I, they've got a long list of bugs of little things need to be fixed. So I've got a couple more in here. Uh, this one actually doesn't have that much going on that's bug wise or bug wise, but yeah, the PvP uh, kills list that's going to be fun because whenever I have to debug stuff now, if I got a kills list that's not updating sometimes, and it's a right. PvP it's list. Cool, like I said, like dots, pets, falling damage, you know, poison. Yeah. So we will okay. see. So at some point, even AOE didn't attribute. But you know you don't get anything from a kill credit other than bragging rights. You're not being cheated out of anything. So. All right, let's see. All right, did you guys raffle up and stream? I didn't notice. I'm sure you guys have raffled up and stream. Uh, let me do that. I'm gonna pull up. I guess we do have the. Uh, we still do the PVP on the uh, the leaderboards. Do we keep that on there? Yeah, that'll probably show up. This this will probably show up on there, and that should be in there. But Let's again, see. that's just bragging rights. You don't, you don't get it. Let's Not the bragging rights are cool. Raffle, raffle, raffle. And again, for the raffling stuff, I'll give away town. We're going to do the two prizenings here in a minute. Uh, and then... Uh, let's see... Two prize names, I'll call those out. I'll call out the big winner tonight is going to be whoever wins the Obsidian Keep. That is a city-sized deed. Uh, but as someone mentioned, there maybe there's a sale coming up on that. You can't get a city lot just within game gold unless you buy it off of another player. Uh, but yeah. Uh, there's quite a few of them around for gold when I look at the charts, so... Let's see. Oh yeah, do, 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 do. me a whisper or something. I'm at a, a, probably it. it wasn't personal. 
It never is if I miss a whisper or something like that. And same with Chris. Chris probably gets a hundred whispers for every one I get. So. Uh, but yeah, I, I honestly, I pretty much had to ignore my he that chat. I've got multiple chats. So don't take it personal. Yeah, I, I ignore people in the team chat quite often. Oh, I meant like in game, but yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, Sarah Dragon got another victory. Good for Sarah. Uh, also, Sarah is a longtime player uh, who, yeah, not surprising that they're they're winning several. But again, this is, is set up so that, uh, and that's the confirmation that Sarah is a level 100. He's not bugged or anything. Uh, but this is set up to show player skill in terms of PvP skill with things, everything being capped. So... All right, I'm gonna. If you're struggling and you know you feel like you're imbalanced, that there aren't still things we can do to help balance that. Like you said, I think warding probably. If you're having a hard time in here today as a mage, you know, we'll, we'll still look at it. But Sarah's very good. I'm not taking anything away. From I remember they were always blades back when mages and ranged were the best, but they just stuck with blades the whole time. Do, do, and I'm waiting for this to start up. This time I'm going to remember to get in there and I'll GM ghost my way to the middle uh, and try to show the fight. Uh, and maybe at the end of this round is when we'll probably call it a stream and I'll find someone to raid, and which means I got a lot of prizes to do while I'm showing that off. One second. Wait for it. Any second now? Hold on, hold on. And again, uh, PV... E is, I just want to emphasize a few things because I know there's some anti-PVP people out there. PVE is not getting any nerfs uh, in terms of being nerfed to balance some PVP thing. There's actually basically two different systems where we can change the balance of PVP stuff without affecting PVE. That's one thing. Uh, also, in terms of time spent on it, it is still less than, we're still spending less than 20% of our time. Get away from me, Sarah. Uh, less I'd than 20% of our time uh, on PV. Yeah, it's far less than that. Uh, on There's PvP always going to be some of that. If we work on pets, the people don't have pets are concerned. Uh, and again, I will emphasize one of the reasons working on PvP is that's a large audience out there. Uh, there's another game out there that uh, I, I won't name that is has a heavy PvP audience, and we're hoping to capture some users. Because really what PvEers need, as well as PvPers need, the most important thing that can happen for Shroud is us capturing some more players. Be fabulous and we've captured a lot in this last week i've been amazed at the buzz that we've had and how many uh we're still sitting at about three times as many new players per day as we were a month ago yeah, that's uh, great. so, so get out there and recruit them into your uh into your guilds pick them up in a party swing by the outskirts see who's there help them out you guys are great at that already just to know there's a lot more people out there for you to yeah. pick up into your guilds Grab your ether and duct tape. Yeah, there you go. Maybe, maybe just a a friendly synopsis uh, about your your guild mission. All right, that wasn't such a good place to try and sit while I wait for people. There yep. is a. I thought there was a wall that came down from above too to make you go down. I don't know if that still works. Uh, but yeah, so if you're wondering. This is what melee combat looks like, is it's basically the non-stop, oh, and then somebody's going to join in there. Yeah, but I think there's some cool skills, like body slams and shield slams and attacking from behind. Yeah, you guys should totally be ganging up on Sarah Dragon, guys. I think I think they are. It doesn't yeah, look like that. Yeah, several people have messaged me asking if they're uncapped or if it's fair or nope. if they're nerfed and nobody else is. Like, well, it's supposed to work on. I'm checking. Oh, look, somebody's got one of the... There's a couple of items. We have to uh, adjust oh, some shader right. stuff. Yeah, so they've got that. Get away from me. Yeah. Get away from me, Z. Yeah, so that still shows up. That's one we need to go and add the shader to, but you're giving away your stealth there with your shield of earth. I didn't realize that thing. But... Air, you can see shield of air for a little bit. Oh, it's looks so like people are falling. Yeah. Down to really? 11 now. Uh, anyways, let me do the uh, the quick raffling here. Hold on, I'm pulling up a spreadsheet now. Somebody's asking if we can put the Lord of the Manor Keep City House into the store. 
I think some of the benefactor stuff we try to keep unique to those early pledges, but we will sometimes do like, you know, material swap, make a different bricks or something like that. Oh, man. Um, you know, we'll modify it so that those people keep their unique thing and then we'll put a version on. So. Oh, Revenant's going to leave. Well, thank you for the good the good matches, Revenant. Good job. And thank you. Thanks, everybody, just for running around and having fun. Nobody's getting Looks like we've got me. about 40 players who are in here. So let me do times 40, so 27. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, uh, 27. I got a winner. It was one off. You were 26 uh, list. So I've got a winner or winner for the uh, the uh, what should we call it? The uh, village one. 11. Good. I don't want to count that many again. Some one, people two, are asking three, to port them to four, five, six, they port seven, them to eight, Atos. Nine, Isn't ten. after the patch game just go there? 11. I got a big winner. Oh, nice. Who won? This is I'm the, not telling the, you. Big raffle win. Uh, I will say it's someone I've spent some time talking to here recently. Uh, let me do the raffle winner. I can't hide that one, so... Let me do the little prizes. Uh, and I can go ahead. Let's see, we're down to seven in here. So they don't, but the wall's closing in fast. So we'll probably get to see some actual PvP or action going on. Are you, oh, cool. You're ghosted. They're like, how are you still alive? <laughs> I'm awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, and PvP uh, blades is always. A popular thing just because you got the coup de gras when you saw like that guy he was pretty close to a quarter and once you get to a point where you can coup de gras it's pretty much over it's got some i mean if you're playing some decent person it's uh i'd say it's more difficult to use though because obviously you need to be yeah. in range like uh, i did some uh measuring on stuff i put in some more metrics for tracking this stuff so i'm sure i'll have lots of good information on it but that's one of the things i uh, had seen is just the difference in elevation from jumping. You actually get about a 9% boost uh, for jumping and hitting someone at the peak of your jump because we have oh, the, the code. Oh, it's like attacking downhill. Yeah, because we have the, the code in there that is, uh, it benefits, you do more damage, you get a damage boost if you are at a higher elevation, which is really put in there for the archers. And if you're like, yeah, we'll just leave it in there for everything because it's going to be a smaller number. Uh, but it turns out having a jump and hit them at the peak is like 9% more damage. So if you see some people jumping, that's some of it. I think some people it's just like, it feels like you should be jumping when you're in combat. Like, well, spacebar also will get you out of a lot of roots. Yes. Knockdowns. So people, you know, I know when I get knocked down, I'm just spacebar space. So I usually am leaping because I'm trying to get out of a stun or a knockdown. I see two sets over there. There's still six people down here, though. I only see four of them, so that probably means I'm thinking there's some of these guys that are, you know, they're stealthing right up until the end, because I'm definitely not seeing them in the action. Oh, maybe they jumped in there. Uh, you do get, oh, now I see five active. Oh, five active and five remain. That guy's going to be gone. Let me do my GM ghost off so I can die here. Dun, 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 dun. I got my bow. Yeah, I think the mages are having a tough time today. So. Take that. You just Im implemented these new caps and gear caps. Well, with the, this yeah. release, so this is new to us. Shocking. I was killed by Sarah. Uh, you do also, for doing the actual rewards here, there's some PvP-specific rewards, but that is one of the big things we're looking at going forward. This is kind of the, we wanted to balance some stuff. We want to get some bugs fixed. We want to get some eyes on PvP, uh, which is why we have this stuff going right now. Uh, is getting some eyes on PvP. We we're definitely getting more eyes on PvP. But the next step is going to be the more important step, uh, which is giving people a real reason to PvP. This scene provides some reasons to PvP here uh, because it has some, as you kill people, you get coins. And as it's, I'm trying to remember, it's if you kill people, you get a coin. And if you win the match, you get a medallion, right? I think there's I think a minimum number of people. It's like you get some for killing and some for winning. And <laughs> you get more. Oh, we got a new winner there. Yeah, That's but you can, you can redeem them for, you know, emotes and potions. You know? Yeah. 
I, I, I think it's just PvP is fun enough, you know, it's its own reward just to fight against not AI but other players. But some people want us to incentivize it with goods, but I think the best goods are always, you know, cosmetic costume changes and cool looking armor yeah. and titles and things like that. Uh, oh, Margarita sings coins for killing, medallions for winning. If oh yeah, and there has to be five of them. So it's been so long since I came in here and like got close to winning that I forgot what you actually get. I built this home, so <laughs> I should remember. Uh, but yeah, so this this release is really we're trying to get some eyes on PvP and raise some PvP awareness. Uh, so probably the next step after this is going to be fixing a few of the bugs that we've seen here. Just we got some new system in, in place. Like we like I said, we had that one guy earlier who was. Uh, not his, his own fault. He wasn't exploiting. We saw it happen to somebody else earlier. We just don't know what the exact special sauce is to make it happen. But they they were getting the they were still able to have their gear and their level and those things. So I'm going to look into that. That'll be the next step. Is fixing some bugs and a little more balanced stuff. But the next big thing that's coming online is going to be trying to make it give people a make PvP more meaningful rather than it being just you know pure chaos and you know. Uh, a contest type thing actually and that is of course is going to be where we start bringing in some factions my fish are kind of creepy behind me in the dark i just saw one like come up towards the front and like glow there we go sorry that surprised me uh but yeah so bringing in some factions and actually having a faction system that's the next big thing we're going to be talking about we'll be talking about that probably up through christmas uh and starting on implementation next year again cool. some of the there's lots of different ideas on what Factions are going to be the again the the obvious one maybe too obvious so we may not end up going that way and what faction means to different people is totally different uh, but obviously the chaos versus virtue uh, or even going a three way thing of chaos virtue and atos uh, I'm supposed to be the balance by the way uh, that was always the thing is atos was the balance between the chaos I'm and the thinking virtue. Thinking about that in terms of office politics. Yes, <laughs> uh, it was true in many ways, uh, in game and also out of game as well. So I think we said it before, but do people know that Richard's actually chaos and Star is actually order? Uh, d yes, that is absolutely true. That is uh, uh, in terms of actual personality and that type of stuff. But again, chaos virtue, it's kind of lots of different meanings. To that but yeah, Richard was yeah, definitely yeah, in not terms of virtuous or evil. It's it's just different. Yeah, in terms of team dynamics, I'm going to set this one out, guys, because I got to do prizes. Uh, I've already drawn the prizes, though, for the Obsidian Trial. have the names there. I need to do the raffle thing. But first, I'm going to start off with uh, calling out the prizes for the other guys here. And just to get them done quick, uh, I'm going to read off everything here. So, are you guys ready? Is it prize time? You guys ready? Prize time. I think you're ready. Okay, and then after this, I will be doing the raffle drawings. Go ahead and do raffle up if you are not already there. So for prizes, we have the Fall Wreath 2019 goes to, or there's going to be only two people for each one of these. It's amazing. You guys do better in my streams. I think they they did like a, a level five hype train stream before last. I think they got like level four last time. Uh, they, we didn't even start a hype train this time. You guys are not hyped about the Friday streams? I did I, see a couple of new subs though and some bits, so thank you guys. For I, yeah, I need to thank some people here. Uh, I got XCOM 2K, Skeggy Media, thank you for the raid. Tomcat, resub, thank you. Uh, Sewer Suzor, thank you for the bits. Defected Zephyr, Seth Avia, uh, Ava, and Waldo Ptolemy, uh, and Malhari, another name I know very well. Uh, but uh, guys, again, thank you so much. Bits are appreciated. We're Obviously, we have other things we do. Uh, and we're not just like streamers out here for the uh, bucks, so it's don't don't stress that we didn't, you know, that we do better in the other streams. I wasn't trying to guilt people into into anything. No guilt tripping. Don't do it. <laughs> but I'm reading the prizes. Again, you'll keep me on here longer if you uh, if you actually do the hype train. So, uh, and I will sit here and just stare at the camera angrily, wishing I could go have a beer. Uh, now, now it's really going to do it. But anyways, I'm going to read these off. If we do get a hype train, I'll draw a few more rounds, and then we'll I'll read this off later. But for this round of prizes, the Fall Reef 2019 goes to Stymie Savage Fury and... And they, they, yeah, they did the hype train because I guilted them. And Thurden Redwald. Thank you, guys, or congratulations to you guys. Uh, thanks to all the people in stream donating right now. The Large Ornate Telescope goes to... 
Zasori Zizer and uh, Duterm Teru. Nailed it. The Fletcher Tapestry Formal Suit goes to, ah, an old name. We got a couple old names. Uh, Dread Pirate and Zythar. The Autumn Fairy Crown goes to Dross and Zabron and Puddlefoot. The Fancy Indoor Toilet 2 goes to Yuka Lely. Nice name. And Brianna Cohen. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. It looks like I'm going to do, be doing at least one more round of drawing here in a bit, so I'll hang on until the uh, hype train dies off. But let me do the first of the Obsidian Trial people. Uh, the first winner is, this is for a village obsidian tower. This is, I'll put that down, village obs tower. Uh, that goes to, hold on. That goes to Tummy Rumble Thunderbottom. Nope, looks like you guys are heading towards another round there. Still one of my favorite character names. Uh, we are going to do the chatbot streamer thing here. This is where we do the raffle. Oh, the bridge troll wants to get two rounds of extra. And this is also where, oh, that's bridge troll. I see, I see that there. Uh, you can't tell that when he says it in chat, but it's bridge troll, not bridge troll. I'm guessing bridge troll is taken. <laughs> yeah, I'm mostly sure that's bridge troll. Uh, Waldo gave 1,300 bits. I wonder if he knows exactly, because he took it almost to 100, like, Full hype train. And Margaret, Marguerite pushed him over the edge there. And Sean Butts. Now we got everybody jumping in. Uh, I'm going to do, while that's going on, I'm going to do the winner for the uh, town-sized obsidian tower. This thing is absolutely hideous. You may get banned from your town for having this thing. This is the one that is stupidly tall. And it's just like the giant tower. Uh, that's like, I forget how many floors, but like four or five floors. It's not great for uh, decorating. It doesn't have like a ton of like actual usable space and it. it's got some decent wall stuff there. The thing it is for good for is being an eyesore in a town, which is great. People will find you in no time if you have this house. Uh, if you guys also if you guys were on uh, the stream I did on I think that was on Wednesday I did a stream. Uh, but I showed off uh, I actually showed off the decoing making it so you can have free placement of house stuff that is another one of the big things we're looking for in the next couple months. Uh, and this tower would actually be pretty good for that because it has a, you know, for the size of the lot, it has a fairly s small footprint. So it's one that you can probably come up with some interesting placements for. And if you haven't seen that stream, you can go check that out. I know people, that seemed to be what people were like <coughs> insanely excited about. I did not expect people to be that excited about it, but, uh. Uh, still some more work to do on that, but, uh, again, proof of concept done. So we're, we're getting there. All right, I'm doing the raffle thing now. This is for the town size one. You guys ready? Bam. Sir Peters. Oh, you're too late there, Cowboy Bill. Y'all. Who are you, Sir Peters? Two R. Hopefully you'll chime in and let me know who you are. Uh, and then... Well, it looks like we're going to have to do a couple more rounds of uh, prizing after this. But I'll go ahead and announce the big one now. Oops. You got your hype train. Put that in the wrong place. He gets a town tower, Ob's tower. And then this last one, the big winner for the night, gets the city, uh, the Obsidian Keep. Uh, if you don't know what that thing is, that's the one that I picked for my house. Uh, in the one town that I actually have a some, you know, small presence in. Again, I'm not playing favorites. So I do have a few houses in other towns. I don't go to them much, though. Uh, I mainly have this one there because that's, uh, if you guys remember, many years ago, uh, Matthew Barrick. Uh, great guy. Still keep in touch with him, by the way. Uh, he's on, uh, he's over on uh, the Wizards 101. He's uh, the community guy for Wizards 101, I believe. Uh, that's a fun game. Yeah. That. That's another company that is in, a game company that's in town, in case you didn't know. Uh, but uh, he had a lot in that, in uh, Ordinance Mortis, and I kicked him out and took that one. Actually, they kicked him out and told him I had to take that, so. And remember, you have your own, you have your own uh, castle now. 
Uh, I do have my own castle now, so that's where I'm going to be living, and it's uh, I'm uh, the pot owner there, so I'm going to go place down uh, row lots just all over the place in that thing for you guys to claim. No, no, he's not going to do that. <laughs> he's, he's, that's, a, that's a jeer at me. He knows it'll drive me nuts. All right, I think I've uh, added enough drama there. Uh, they're getting close to level three hype train. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and kick off a few hype train or a few prize innings just to get ahead of them. I'm going to go ahead and give the big winner now. Are you guys excited? You ready? I know he's in stream, so he'll be excited. Uh, the winner of the Obsidian Keep, that massive cool house, uh, very, very popular uh, for anyone with City Lot. Tons of good deco space, and it's like interesting. And it's got like the four towers in the corners and the rails up top. Uh, it's kind of fun for PvP as well. But the winner is. Can I get a drum roll? The winner is 600 millisecond ping defected Zephyr, who will never <laughs> PvP because he will get his butt kicked. Point per ping. <laughs> I did get an in-game drum roll, but I think I stashed my... Oh, look at that. Make weight. And then def I think defected Zephyr to celebrate gifted one thing, which put other people over the level three hype train. So we got to do we're get three rounds of prizes. A ton of subs away. Thanks, <laughs> And everybody, I just saw that one. That yeah, for those who didn't know, I, that was uh, that was the drawing of people who were went to the Obsidian uh, trials tonight. You didn't require everybody to stay because uh, I know some people had to bail, uh, and uh, so I just did a drawing of everybody who had been there in the last hour. So, yeah. thanks everybody now, who participated. Now I'm just waiting to see if I have to call out three rounds of prizes or four. I got two rounds drawn, and uh, you want to? I give you the job of uh, co-pilot. Oh, you know what? I've had your head cut off the whole stream, like your head's cut in half. Uh, I moved because somebody was saying they could see my ear, so I'm like leaning over in my chair to see. More. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm cropping that thing. I forget uh, why I was cropping it, but I was cropping. I moved my camera, but this is like I'm at the the maximum cable length for the camera. So. There, I'll give you the spotlight. Here you go. Oh, I don't. I didn't necessarily want it. I was fine being just the ear. <laughs> oh, Let's see. So we got two on. there. Yeah. Here, you want to be on camera? <laughs> meow, meow. Oh, puppy Let's dog. See you see her? Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought it was a cat at first. I forgot you had a dog. Oh, it's a six-pound dog, so that's easy, pretty much a cat. Mistake to make. And I know everybody cares while I'm looking for some filler time here. Uh, we are looking to get a, another Italian Greyhound to join Mojito. He's actually uh, coming up on 11 years old. He is super healthy. Like, he still acts puppy dog and runs circles and goes on, you know, three miles walks with us uh, most days. Uh, but we're looking to get him a little playmate. Uh, so we will be getting a, hopefully, another Italian Greyhound. Uh, we know that there's a couple, you know, tons of options with the pound and... Uh, Greyhound, there's even actually an Italian Greyhound, uh, I forget what they call them. I was going to say Reclamation Group, but uh, anyways, Italian Greyhound uh, placer group for Italian Greyhounds have lost their homes. Rescue, that's the word. Thank you, Ihondas. Italian Greyhound Rescue. Uh, but the person who gave us uh, Mojito uh, is having another round of puppies that will be somewhat related to Mojito, and we can't pass that up, so we're going to be getting one from them. So, Is he really 11? That's crazy. Yeah, he's he's 11, He's and he's totally acts like a puppy and fights Maxine on the bed every night and uh, goes nuts. But yeah, he is 11 years old. Uh, well, the time is asking. Now, th this is as big as she'll get. She, she just turned one, so she's maxed out at like six, seven pounds. Uh, and Italian Greyhounds are one of the longest lived breed dogs, just partially because they got like super powerful cardiovascular systems, but they go, uh, there's somebody in the group that we're in for the Italian Greyhounds. Uh, there's a bunch of people with dogs that are 18 and 19, and then there's a couple of people with 21 year old dogs, oh, 21 wow. year old Italian Greyhounds. So we're not hoping, we're not expecting to get that type of uh, life out of him, but we want to have some overlap between him and his puppy so he can teach the puppy the ropes. Yeah. And let That'd me go cool. look while I wait for this uh, the last minute or so. I'm going to do a few Ask a Dev things here. 
And as Modi Mool said, yeah, players are losing pets in Obsidian Trials. Uh, did not know that, and again, that's one we'll have to look into. Yeah, we'll investigate. Somebody said it was a not related to the scene. It was a larger issue, but we'll look into it and find out. Uh, Bridge Troll has a good suggestion. Consider shrinking the starting size of the Obsidian Trial so it is based on the number of players. May want to ask real PvPers, though. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad idea just to condense people together more. But yeah, that's uh, right now it's on a 10-minute cycle, so it shrinks in over a 10-minute period. I guess it's nine minutes technically. We give you a minute set up ahead of time. So it's not, yeah, it's not that bad, you know, even with a couple of people because it starts shrinking and the forces here. Not saying we won't look at it. Uh, Al uh, Ausley says, with so much new music, can we have an option as to which theme music we want to have played in our own player dungeons? We don't give them a way to do that already. Did, it, did uh, they finish? Did they get missing. four? I didn't notice. We should look at that if we can. Um, it should be like pot rules. Or Level orchestra. four completed. Not orchestra, I'm sorry. Uh, wax cylinder rules. Oh, now they're keeping me on here another five minutes. I'll have to answer some more questions. Uh, yeah, the jukebox rules. Yeah, we should look at that. Can you really not? I thought you could. I guess I've just plopped down a jukebox and I listened to it. You know, yeah, not pot. Room, in, but not. Like, All right, well, that sounds like we need to fix like, that. Throughout the dungeon, yeah, we should totally do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got player dungeons. I got you. I was saying we should use the same rules as the DOT music as yep. in in the player dungeons. Agree. That's a great suggestion. Not in dungeons or basements. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I always just put down my jukebox and listen to that. Yeah, we can look at that. Right. Yeah, no, that, that should be a, a easy one. Uh, let's see. I uh, saw someone asking, Alexander said, can we have a little banner showing the user X is online, user X is offline when friends log in or out? Uh, and Vesper says, OCX Tools does that. I think that's, uh, is OCX Tools one of the Lua packages people have written? Again, is uh, one of the reasons we brought Devil Cult onto the team, besides him being awesome, is man, they've got high expectations here if they think they're going to get to uh, five. They might get to five. Uh, but uh, Devil Cult was one of the guys who was really into Lua, in addition to being just a super constructive uh, player in the game. And that's we, you know, at some point in the future, we're probably going to add some more team members and looking at people from the game community was for a long time kind of a no no because we'd had a few less than positive experiences with that. But now I think uh, we've kind of had enough positive ones that, you know, we look for, we know what to look for now in terms of bringing people in. So that is definitely something of bringing people in from the community to help out with some things. So it could still happen. And again, we are a hundred percent work from home company. Uh, and we have people in, we have uh, somebody in Canada, Devacol is in uh, Canadian. And we have uh, people in Germany and then the most people are here in Austin. Uh, but, uh, oh, and also uh, Wyoming. So, yeah, anyways, when we look for people now, we know, we kind of know what to look for in terms of finding people from the community. Let me get a couple more uh, Ask a Dev things out of the way here. Yeah, he was a great fit. Very cool. Let's see. Even if he does break the build a few times. Well, okay. who doesn't, right? Yeah. You're, uh, not, you're not Mike, making anything if you're not. That's exactly what I was going to say. That's always been our saying, is if you're not breaking the build, then you're not getting anything done. So break the build all day long. That's a sign you're you're doing lots of stuff. So always good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Donjol de, de, de Versailles, de Versailles says, when, uh, when can we get the ability to operate switches and open doors from horse? I'm surprised you can't already do that. You should be able to do those things from horse. We block interactions with PV or NPCs uh, when you're on a horse because there's a lot of state involved with that and sometimes we want to lock you in and there's some wonky camera stuff. Uh, I actually thought that was going to be an easy one to do and dug into it a bunch and it was going to be super problematic and uh, decided to, nah, you gotta get off horse to talk to people. But switches, interacting with, doing interactives like that should totally be a thing. And I've actually, when I saw this uh, Ask a Dev thing come in, I immediately said, yes. 
actually, I think uh, Damon chimed in and immediately said no. And then Damon said, or and then I jumped in and said, yes, we can do that. So <laughs> uh, we will try and get that done. Uh, let's see. Uh, Elwin Moon has one here for uh, Keith. Oh, looks like he may have already fixed this one. This may be or going in soon, which is Elwin Moon says, have you noticed that if you ask Castle Atos NPCs their name uh, when they have one, they say they are not comfortable saying their name. Then it appears on their nameplate. So it looks like Keith is already getting that again. We don't really have the Ask a Dev specifically for reporting uh, bugs, but you know, if you have something that is annoying that other people might miss. All right, looks like we're going to have four is going to be the number. Uh, you can get it, catch your eye with that. Don't don't abuse it though. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I forgot you put the camera on me. I'm just reading stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're not looking interesting. Not that I'm interesting. Here we go. How do you look interesting? I got a fish tank. Let's see. Oh, thank you for bringing the number. Uh, greedy grass, thinking out loud, just a wish to add a violin. That was one I, of course, immediately was thinking, no, uh, but because that is something that requires both the violin art, that's easy. Uh, you know, even if we make it ourselves, that's not a day's worth of work. Uh, but it does require the animations is the other part. Uh, Damon said that he actually thinks that's a good idea and would be a good instrument to add. I would say that those two things are the absolute easiest and the very hardest is you need a violin yes. player to play some samples and then we pitch it. Yeah, uh, but that is, there There are some instruments where you're just used when you hear them, you know, they don't, e e e e e uh, yeah. violins are one that it's very much a, you know, it, it doesn't make the sudden tone shift uh, and it's, yeah. you know, there's lots of different lengths of things and, you know, it's it's wouldn't go as smoothly. We can try and see if we can find a violin thing. Uh, Damon said he was up for that if we can do it though, uh, but there's probably instruments that work that are better, you know, in terms of how they do the things. Because you know, like pianos, it's you press a key and it plays a note. It's not a sliding thing. It's kind of like having a trombone or something like that. It's you know, it's yeah. you know, it's got change of pitches. So. It's not impossible. It's just the quality of samples, and then do we add extra code yep. so if you hold the note, things like that. So. Uh, let's it's, see. Played the, the bagpipes. That's what it would sound like right now without a little more work. Uh, here's one from a couple of days ago. Defected Zephyr, our big winner tonight. Uh, why can't I drown in Castellatos' fountain while lying down in depression from it, or from not being able to obtain water from it? You can obtain water. That was actually put in as a direct result of you complaining that you couldn't put it in. Uh, so that was one where we saw it. Somebody saw it immediately said, whoops. So good feedback the there. That would be much easier. I like that. Uh, Sir Peters, our winner tonight. Oh, that looks like that's going to be my, that's how you spell his name, is Sir Peters. That's good because I didn't see him chime in yet. He may have chimed in. Uh, he won the town, I think, the town of Obsidian Tower. Uh, but any news on two-handed weapon skills? That is one of the things I think that, in my opinion, needs some love, especially in terms of PvP. But I'm going to look into that. Uh, I think two-handed weapon skills. Shield has got some love. Uh, it's getting some work done right now, actually. I've got some changes going on for shield. The big thing being making it something so you can draw some more aggro. But also, I'm doing a lot of work. There's a couple things uh, that's going on with shield that, you know, some of it's not directly shield, but it's going to benefit shield. One of which is the creature attacks, many creature attacks, and also many player attacks. When they hit you, they were set up wrong initially in that they aren't the sub effects of them are not children. So you can block it and you still get the sub effect. And by that, I mean like you get knocked down, you get hit, you block it with a shield, but you still get knocked down or you still get stunned or you still get hit by the poison dot or whatever thing, even though you block the thing with your shield or you dodge the thing is another one. You know, the extra sub effect can still hit you even though the main one doesn't. Uh, so I'm working on fixing those. That is not a trivial change, so I'm still working through those things, but that is one that will benefit shields because things that get blocked by shield, uh, the shield will block the sub effect. I will also mention, uh, since it came up, the parry for many creatures in the game, not all creatures in the game, but many creatures in the game, was unintentionally turned up a lot. Uh, they aren't blocking 100%. Uh, 
uh, some people were saying that today and they were being fairly you know hyperbolic on that but it was they it did get turned up quite a bit so that is being turned back down to a mid level uh it really got added multiple times is what it looked like is multiple different innate bundles were doing it so all right i think we're ready here to call out the last stuff and i'm sure travis has found me a uh uh, stream to raid next. I'm just gonna put it all on him. Oh, I got to do one more. Hold on, one more round of prize money. I can do it right now. Do it right now. Uh, but let me call out the last round of prizes as soon as they go. We already got the big winners for the castle stuff. Uh, Laney usually does the prize uh, That may happen tonight. That may happen tomorrow morning. Uh, I will try to send these things out. The three things I'm giving away. The three extra things. The obsidian towers. Uh, I will send those out immediately after the stream. I got one. I did a random roll. Ooh. Okay. My random roll selected uh, Coswald. Coswald, okay. They're both good. I saw Silver Tree's up to He's good for my own Hey, <laughs> John Marcus. Oh, your timing, buddy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, he gave, uh, that's good because everybody's leaving the stream already anyways to head out as we've now named who we are and given away our prizes. Let me see. <laughs> Sheep. What is it? No. Okay. Well, let me read no, off. The... No, no llamas. No purple llamas. Uh, I'll be doing a, a good one here for, uh, for John Marcus. Thank you very much, buddy, for giving me a chance to sing us out there. I'll do that when we, we uh, raid Coswald. Uh, but last Four rounds of prizes due to the hype train thing that you guys got going there. The Fall Wreath 2019 goes to Mortis Grimm, Fuel Anacron, Vesper, Krazuka Oaken Valley. Oh, and that's it. Uh, the Large Ornate Telescope goes to Morris Lee, Tenart Lightbringer, Neocon. And Selenia. And uh, also remember to thank all those people who in the stream put up bits for you guys. Uh, Dogmeat, I see, was one of the people there. Dr. Hernbrand. Again, I've got a whole long list of people here I'll thank right after I do this round uh, before I sing to you and make you leave. Uh, Fletcher Tapestry Formal Suit, uh, Tapestry Formal Suit, goes to Sean Silverfoot, Gwendolyn Obscuro, Spinock the Great, and Treasure Pile always wins. Treasure Pile always wins. I don't think I've ever done a stream where Treasure Pile didn't win something. That's probably not true. Uh, but they win a lot. She wins a lot. Autumn Fairy Crown goes to Seal Astra, Zad Madruk, Gravity, and Dean Winchester. Fancy Indoor Toilet 2, possibly with a bidet. We're not sure what makes it a fancy Toilet 2. Goes to Dekai. Lazarus, oh, this one hurts to say, oh, Lazarus Long. Uh, well, the toilet seems appropriate for Laz, right? <laughs> it's fit on the lot, a lot. Yeah, we, uh, Laz, you should put that on your lot and make that where you do your stream uh, on uh, Monday from. You can sit on your throne. Sit on your throne while you do your stream. He'll say it uh, himself, sitting on the lot. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said something we can't repeat, but it's funny. Uh, Tamer. Schweichen, and last but not least, toilet goes to Diablo Teen. Guys, thank you very much. Uh, let's see. I now we have done the prizes. Let me get the raid scheduled up here. Let's see if I can get his name right. I think we determined toilet two is geometric and toilet one is floral. All right. Yeah, it sounds probably more likely. Let's see. Okay, I'm doing the raid. I got his name right. We're going in there here shortly. Uh, thank you guys for joining me on the stream today. Sorry if uh, out of sorts a little bit here. And also, again, I think we picked the wrong place to do some PvP demo just because it's hard to witness the PvP up here because you get wiped out and you get sent back up here. And again, you can spend your time on practice training dummies and whatnot. So not uh, horrible as a player, but as a streamer, you don't want to see me hitting a training dummy. I should have done the... Uh, the Arterus Arena. Uh, there are a few bugs in there, but they're not anything too horrible. And I will be trying to get to some of these bugs that came up in this over the next release. Uh, but guys, again, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I really didn't mean to guilt trip you guys into doing a, a hype train, uh, but absolutely appreciated. 
it used to be that when we would do our Twitch, our Twitch money was uh, would be our taco money when we'd have team meetings, but we, we don't really have team meetings much uh, anymore at all anymore. We do them online virtual and there's no tacos. I sometimes eat tacos on the stream, but you know, not in real life. So, uh, but guys, again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everything. I forgot to call out everybody, uh, but I saw all the uh, many names that I know in there. Where's the console coming up? Oh, I can't even see the console and who gave money, who gave bids. I'm going to run out of time here. Uh, Malhari, John Marcus, Sewer Suzer, Waldo Ptolemy, Dogmeat, Waldo, uh, Key Mansour, Malhari, The Maynard, Waldo, more Waldo. Man, you guys are dragging them across the line there, Waldo. Uh, key mans for Spellfire, Eileen, Dragonfire, Sewer Sewerser. Oh, did I get it? I didn't get my song in. Yeah. Uh, I will have to sing for them next time. It's already Cosmo. You're out now. Are you still streaming? Kind of. I don't think they can hear you though. Yeah, they the the people who are in there, I think they they might be able to hear. Oh, I've ended my stream. If they don't, if they don't yeah, raid. I get the host, you do the. All right, now we're gonna go. Oh look, there, get him up to level one hype train. There you go. That's you guys should be saving your bits for him. An actual good streamer. All right, I am closing this down, guys. Uh, if you're still on here, why are you still here? You're still yeah. here. Uh, they insert. Uh, the yeah, they didn't follow the raid. I don't know if there's anybody still here, but anyways, if they are, guys, uh, have a great weekend. See you later.